Perry, as usual, used uh, use that raised hand feature, and we'll get to your questions. Uh, Daryl Burr, looks like you got the first one in. Go ahead. Yeah, Cal, we've been watching you do this for a dozen years now. I'm really curious this year with fewer games, getting your team to peak. Sometimes it's late, late February. You're going to run out of games where you get them to where you want. And your mindset, do you try to get offense and defense about 80% along, or do you say defense is okay, let's put all of our energy on offense and try to bring that side? Are there shortcuts you can take? Well, there are no shortcuts. There are no shortcuts in anything. And But I, I'll say um, we – like every young team, not just ours, any inexperienced team that hadn't been together, big disadvantage, no summer, no fall. That's done. Okay, now you move on to where you're saying, here's where we are right now. Um, the scary thing is what you said. We focus on winning time last four minutes. We focus on late clock, how we're playing, and you got to do it over and over and over. you got to spend time. And then what you do is you get away from all the defensive drills and things you're doing every day that I've done every year I've been here from the beginning of the year till April. We do them. Well, we've had to shortcut those a little bit because we got to get better offensively. Yesterday's practice... Uh, I stopped at least 10 times and asked the question, why didn't you shoot that ball? At least 10 times. Why did you not shoot that ball? Uh, us passing up a good shot leads to a turnover or a worse shot. That we can't rebound. Um, so we're working on that. How can we try to create some better opportunities, some earlier opportunities? We're trying to figure out that. We're also, you have to look at individual players and say, all right, how do I help this young man so the game's easier and there's more clarity? I mean, we're doing all that. And, and I had three days. We, we didn't practice for four of the last five days. We have not practiced. Yesterday was the first day. Um, and I had time to just go through, okay, what are some other things that we can try? Here's the crazy thing. We're not that far away. We're just not. But it's not my perception that's reality. It'll be their perception, which is why I said, let's restart. Let's reboot. Forget all this. Let's start anew. Let's be energized in what we do. And let's go from here. We got nine games left. We got nine games left. Let's go. I'm watching this team move to here. This team, we're not that far off. But it's not what I believe. And I keep telling them. It's what they believe. And, and again, um, like I said yesterday, they made me feel good because they had a terrific practice. Guys that had been struggling played better. Uh, it looked like they were a little bit refreshed. But it's hard. I mean, we're going from no pro one practice in four days to boom, boom, and not get on a plane and let's go play a really good team on the road. It, it'll be a it'll be a tough challenge. But you know, like I said, these kids are fighting. They're trying, um, and I just got to stay there for them. But I got to hold them accountable. Shoot balls. Oh, I missed five in a row. Well, missed ten in a row. It's on me. You got to shoot open shots. John Hale, go ahead, then Jerry. Cal, just what's your roster situation for tomorrow coming off the pause? Do you have everybody available for this game? Um, if not, it won't be because of COVID. Go ahead, Jerry. Yeah, John, I, uh, you, you've mentioned on several settings about not of, of passing up shots. Is that a confidence thing? Why do you think guys are passing up shots? Uh, I, I think it's three, three things. One is, like, you have to understand, like, I'll stop a practice when a guy is wide open and we throw a bad pass. Now, tell me why you threw it above his head. Again, you've not been the kind of teammate that's more concerned about his shot than yourself. So you got a concern. He's open. Give him one he can handle. The second piece is 
the shooter not being totally prepared to shoot and instead of catching and shooting, he wants to dip the ball and take like a set shot. Well, these dudes are athletic and they're getting after you. And then the last thing is, this is not, and I'm trying to get them to be, you cannot worry about misses and makes, and you gotta move on to the next. If we shoot an air ball or miss a shot, you look at the tape. That guy will pass up an open shot on the next one. Can't be that guy. And I keep telling him, just keep shooting. Um, but creating better shots, having guys to be more catch and shoot guys, trying to define guys a little bit more. Um, here's what, how we need you to play for us and for you. This is when you're at your best and this is when you help us win. Kent Spencer, go ahead. And then Kyle. John, there's... You know, we're about a month away from conference tournaments and, and whatnot, and there's, a, there's growing, I don't know, speculation that some teams who are sure-ins for the NCAA tournament may opt out of conference tournaments. Uh, you know, it seems like with COVID, things are going to be much different in about a month. What are your kind of thoughts on that? Well, first of all, I can promise you we won't opt out. when uh, It's not what I would do. And, and the second thing that I would tell you that if the best teams in conferences opt out, the NCAA probably would come back and say, you know, we're not, the, your winner is not going to be an automatic bid. And so why wouldn't we do it every year? The top four or five teams in our league just say we're opting out of the tournament so that we get one more team in. Um, so I don't think that'll be the case. I, I think that either we'll all play or there will be a reason, uh, this, and the reason would be the safety of the players and the, and the coaches, that we wouldn't play. Um, you know, my, somebody asked me about fans. I can't imagine that we'd have any fans, especially when you're, you're rolling into the NCAA tournament. But maybe there's a way of doing it and keeping everybody safe. And, you know, but that's what I, that would be my feelings on it. Go ahead, Kyle, then Larry. Kyle, before my, my main question, just to clarify on the, uh, John's, uh, how many guys do you think you'll have available tomorrow night? Uh, and then just my actual question about uh, Riley Welch is a guy you've um, mentioned a couple times. Seems like he's earned your and some of the players' respect over the course of the season. And I, I just wondered how and why he's, he's done that and what he's shown you as a future coach. Um, well, uh, I can't remember everything you asked, so let me talk about Riley. Um, Riley um, is such a great teammate, has such a caring heart, um, has a basketball background, um, has a true mind for the game that you have to understand, he's been the point guard on the second unit, and I can't tell you how many times I've stopped practice to say to the other guards, did you see what he just did? Do you see how vocal he is? Do you see the pace that he's going with? Um, and because of that, and I keep telling him, you're, you're doing a great job. And I told him, his dad's a heck of a coach, NBA coach. Uh, I told him, you're going to be a better coach than your dad or me. Um, and he's, uh, he likes to get in the gym and work the guys out. Um, doing those things, and they respect him because he, they all know he's about them. The stuff with Ben, you know, shook him to his core. Um, he and Ben were, they were like two peas in a pod. And so, you know, I've had to keep an eye on him a little bit, the emotional piece of all this for these kids. It's still there. Uh, I'm still addressing that, um, you know, um, the, the, the environment, the, you know, all the stuff that we're dealing with, uh, he's dealing with as well, Riley is. Now, how many guys are you going to have tomorrow night? You know, at this point, I don't know. But I, I think it'll be most of the guys. I don't think it's going to be like five guys or six guys. I think we'll have most of them. But there's nothing uh, in my – as we speak right now, there's no nothing COVID-related. Guys, we got time for a couple more. Larry, we'll go to you, and then Jeff after that. John, I'm just wondering, whether you even know or not, 
do your guys ever talk about any of them individually opting out? Do they talk about mock drafts? What kind of things do they spend with all this extra time just you, talking about? They, they say they don't, but you'd have to talk to them. Because I brought it up many times, man. You, you, you're putting too much on your shoulders. You're putting too much weight. I give the story of Emmanuel quickly to them all. He was not a draftable player after his freshman year. As a matter of fact, I couldn't. He was playing 10 minutes a game. The beginning of his sophomore year, if you told me he was going to be drafted, I'd tell you you're crazy. He trusted us. And it, we helped define his game. The question today, coach, you know, as a point guard, did you? And I said, wait a minute. What about Tyrese? What about Jamal Murray? I can go on and on of guys that learn to play basketball, that learn to be an offensive threat away from the ball, that had runners and different ways of scoring added to their game because Many times a guy wants the ball in his hands because he thinks it's easier. I can make a play every fifth time down and I'm good. But when you're off the ball and having to make plays, it's a lot harder. You got to get open. You got to make open shots. You're not going to have the ball 70% of the time. Now I've got to be that guy. So I'm trying to tell all these guys, take that clutter off your plate. Let's just worry about helping each other get better. We're not that far away. We're really not. And now it, it's just staying focused in the moment right now. But I'll be honest with you, Larry, it's hard for these kids. You know, I tell them stay off the Internet. How much they stay off, I don't know. Um, I, I tell them that if you're going to go on, you got to read the bad and the good. You can't just try to read good. There's, You know, and that's why I tell them it's – it's poison. All of it's poison. Stay away from it. Um, you know, uh, all of them have really, like, this has been a hard road, and I respect them for what they've done and where they've gone and what they're trying to do under the circumstance. And I'll, I'll just give you one. Still, the Georgia game, and, and my hat's off to Georgia. They did what they had to to win the game at the end, but we gave one away and an out-of-bounds play after a timeout, okay, but they had a scrum after the game like that was a national championship game. That's what it is every game these kids play. And you know what? They learn to fight. They learn to battle. You know, you're looking at guys, and, and that's the biggest thing we teach them here. Nothing's given to you. You got to fight for what you want. You got to nudge yourself in there. You got to bet on yourself. If you're not working, and, and again, you want to build your confidence? Great, here's how you do it. Whatever's really hard for you, do it over and over and over and over. That's how you build confidence. Not going in the gym with a cone and shooting balls. What, what's really hard for you to do? Well, then work on that all the time. That's how you build your confidence. And all these kids, if every shot is life or death, is a draft position, you die all the time. You don't want to be in that mode. Let's see how good we can get together. Let's see if we can get better offensively. Let's see if we can finish games better. Let's see if we got a couple daggers on this team. In other words, you're wide open. If you make that shot, that's the dagger that wins the game. We just keep missing those. You be the dagger on this team. No matter what, four minutes to go, that's where we got to get some daggers. And again, not thinking of anything else. I again, I yesterday they were good. I mean, we got a tough, tough game in Missouri. Hard. They physical. They guard. Um, they got a big man. It's a moose. They their guard plays good. It's even better. They got all these guys back from last year's team that we struggle with. So it's going to be a hard, hard game. But it's like the Texas game. When I had to tell them on Friday that this is what's happened and we're not going to play Texas. Dudes were mad. And one of them immediately said, Coach, can you reschedule that game? And then they all chimed in, yeah, let's reschedule, Coach. These kids want to play. And they want to play good teams. I just want us to play better in the winning time. Last four minutes. Just we got to play better then. And that means playing to win 
playing to be the dagger, playing to make the rebound or the play or the stop or the block that ends the game. Not, oh, I wonder, I, I'm, I'm, I may, we may not win. You can't play not to lose. Play to win. Jeff, last one. Go ahead. I was wondering, is there any update on uh, Terrence right now? And, and kind of as a follow-up, uh, you had the video with Oscar yesterday. Uh, what's the timeline for kind of working him in? And what do you hope to get, you know, from him in practice with your bigs? Well, he, here's the thing that Oscar, the thing I loved about him was how hard he worked, how hard he played, how he would just make and any, everything was extra effort stuff. And I want him to go against our guys and try to bring some of that out of the guys we have. Even though they've been playing hard, let's take it to another level. One rebound, two rebounds. You ready for this? Two less turnovers per game. Two more rebounds. A made shot. Where is this all? Um, and so I want him to add to it and help us. Um, and he's ready to do that. He's got to go through some other stuff. He won't practice today, and he's not going to travel with us today to go to Missouri. But when we come back, he'll start, and we'll have some time to bump him in. And again, with Terrence, we, we're, we're going by the doctors and what they're telling us. All right, guys, we'll end it there. We'll have